So let's see how easy it is to use the new maps feature. I've got two snaps uploaded here and a group I've created called the workshop tour. So I'm gonna go up to here and click maps and I'm gonna click the plus button to add a new map. And I'm just gonna drag in my floor plan that I've done up here earlier. So I can just say, sure, let's upload that. And here we are. So clicking this will now take you to the new map editor, which looks very familiar, except we're now in 2D space instead of 3D like the other uh, snap viewers. So now we have the ability to zoom in and out. We can recenter it if we uh, start to get a little crazy, but all the functionality is relatively the same as what you are used to with your snaps. So I can click add and add a new hotspot, maybe right here in the middle of that circle. And I can maybe add another one, let's say uh, in here. Now we're gonna pretend that this isn't a bedroom and a house because we're gonna be using it for the workshop tutorial. Now, because these are just like normal hotspots, I have all the options to select a different icon if I so desire. Maybe this one can be a heart. You can also change the color if you are so inclined. Uh, and then I'm gonna link this to uh, the automatically populated uh, snaps here, which are pulled from the group. So since I had two in my group, this is the two I'm presented with. Uh, if I wanna get real tricky, I can also do animations, have it do the pulse one, maybe even sway back and forth a little bit like that. Maybe not so much. There we go. All right, so there we are, there we are. And this one, I'm gonna say, okay, well, this goes to workshop two. And I've already forgotten which one this one went to, workshop one, great. Gonna click save. Done, okay, so now we have our map done. So I can close this, and if I go back to my snaps and I click on uh, workshop one, it'll load up here and you'll see this new icon down here called maps. I click on maps and magically here's our map, okay? Very, very, very easy. Uh, clicking on this will now take me to workshop two. Clicking on this one, of course, will now take me to workshop one. If I want to view full screen map, you can do that. Shrink it back down or make it disappear altogether. And that's how easy it is to add a map or multiple maps to your snaps in SeekBeak.